Welcome to the Potter Blog site, December 17, 2013. Uh, Chinese public health officials are mirroring an analysis uh, we did on December 17th about uh, aerosolized H7N9 bird flu in Chinese wet markets. Uh, the short of it is, is that uh, the Chinese are using these bird epilators here. Uh, basically what they are are a machine that removes the feathers uh, from the bird. I'll show you that right quick. Throws the bird into the device. Starts it up. Defeathers it. And that's enough for now. Uh, don't want to get too graphic for people who don't know where their food comes from. Uh, but we put out this risk mitigation analysis pointing out that uh, these epilators were a likely source of uh, aerosolized H7N9 bird flu in Chinese wet markets. And it feels good that uh, somebody in China may pick this up, but we may, we may have saved lives. You know, it's always possible that they figured this out on their own, but uh, as far as we know, we're the only people that pointed this thing out. And you know, it's one of the things we like to do is uh, zero, out, zero in on things that other people might miss, uh, things that might have significant risk mitigation value. Now, we share our risk mitigation uh, position so that other people can look at it and uh, basically give us feedback and give us their own risk mitigation position and that helps improve our risk mitigation position and in turn uh, hopefully it gets some eyes and ears out there people who know what to look for uh, indications of uh, bad things about ready to happen. Uh, one thing we constantly ask people for or often ask people for is that uh, if you see reports of uh, pigeon calls in your city please let us know. In this case it's good feels good that maybe we did something that helped somebody.